Hi everyone and welcome to a new session about Azure Container Apps. Before, what we have done is we have created some container apps, we have added key vault, we have added domain names, a storage account for persistent storage, and today we are going to talk about authentication. We need to secure one of the applications and we only need few users and only to be authenticated to, the, uh, to this application and have access to this application. For that, we are going to work on this. What we need to do right now is go to the Azure portal. We need to go to our Azure Container app, Authentication, and here we are going to see how to add an identity provider. There is a couple of identity providers that we can work with, but we are only going to choose only one today and uh, the one that are we going to choose is Microsoft. As you can see, I can add Apple, Facebook, GitHub, and other providers. There is a couple of config configuration that we need to do. First, we need to choose the tenant type, which is workforce or customer. Customer is still in preview. A workforce is a tenant for managing using work or school Microsoft Entra ID account or Outlook and Live.com. And for that, we need to add or create a new app registration and we need to choose uh, the supported account types. For the demo today, we are going to choose any Microsoft Entra directory or personal Microsoft account. And we are going to restrict access. That means only uh, authenticated and authorized uh, people will have access to that application. And uh, anyone who is not authorized will receive um an error uh 302 so let's go and let's give a name to this new app registration that will be created for this demo let's choose any microsoft ultra directory and here we can add a couple of permissions for the application we can add permission for the user in order to see his email to read his uh, profile and let's create this application all right it will take a couple of minutes and we will wait for the creation like that if you have an application with zero code we can actually add or add authentication to this application so right now we have already set up an app registration to our uh, application if we refresh right now it may take a couple of seconds in order to be configured let me just refresh the page log on again to the application and see how this work all right as you can see how and now we have being redirected in order to log in to the application as you can see here the registration is asking us uh, for permission to read our email address and profile let's accept this and right now we have access to the application now, what if someone else try to visit this website that we have created? What will happen? This is what we really, what we need to know. Let's go to private navigation, paste, and try to see what's going on. We are being redirected to the login page of Microsoft. As you can see, no one can get access to this. Now. What we, anyone with Outlook account or um, Office 365 account can log into this application. What we need to do, uh, it's a bit um, advanced. We need to restrict access only to certain users. As you can see here, we have the setup of our app registration. We can add uh, app roles to our application, but we are more interested in the um, enterprise application part. There, we are going to configure which users can access to the application. So let's configure the application for our organization. As you can see here, we have a lot of settings that we can 
configure and here we are going to add assignments we can add assignments to a group of users or user so it's it's better to use groups but for the demo i'm going to use a user and i'm going to give access to two users my actual account and to batman account let's assign access to these users in order to access the application and the first account that i have used is the first one to access to the application and i'm going to try to access right now with the second account which is batman account so i will copy the email address of this account and try to access to the application on the right screen as you can see already i'm being redirected to the login page let me tape the password and as you can see here i can access the application nice now what if um what if i try to log in with an account that doesn't have uh, the rights to access to this application but we still did not configure this yet in order to configure this we need to uh, restrict access only to the users that exist in this screen for that we need to go to properties and here assignment required must be set to yes let's save this all right now i will go to check one of the users that i have and i will try to log in with that user inside this application and see what's going to happen let's try this john doe account we are using private navigation again let's paste the uri of the uh, website all right cool and let's tape the password and try to log in to our website oops as you can see here we have a message that the administrator have blocked users unless they are specifically granted or assigned access to the application so no one could access to this application only if it is assigned to this app registration so here we are securing our application and no one uh, can access uh, that application only the assigned users that are assigned to this app registration in the properties of the application let's try to log in right now with batman and it's an assigned user already and we can access the application so this is quite good uh, and we are securing our application and no one can see our files uh, only those users who are assigned to this app registration we can look for enterprise application from the search area here let's go and see the storage reader the first application all right and here we can set up inside the property on inside the user and groups the people that we want to access to this app registration there are a lot of app settings that we can change here we can change the application uh, uh, logo we can show, change the name of the application we can set assignment required no or yes that means um uh, other people can that have outlook or live account can log in and later we will see them inside um the users and groups that have uh, ac uh accessed the application right now if we go back to our application inside authentication we can delete actually this authentication that we have set up we can edit this we can add permission uh, we can change uh, the token audience we can um, use uh, the URI of uh, the application we can change the permission from here if you can see and if you want to customize sign in and sign out inside the application you can go and visit the website of Microsoft uh, Learn or Microsoft in order to, for example, if you want to add login on logout button, 
you can set up this configuration from this page authentication and authorization in Azure Container Apps. I hope you liked this demo and we will see you in other videos as soon as possible. Thank you.